to day 26. Like me, you probably need a break on your lower body. Uh, when I got out of bed this morning, I was like, oh, my legs hurt. So we are doing upper body today. We are doing eight exercises back to back, then we get a longer rest and we're gonna repeat them. As always, if you need um, a warm up, please do. Um, just pause me, get your warm up in. We are going in 20 seconds. The only prop you need, um, I've got a block with a lot of teeth marks in, um, otherwise just a big hard backed book. That's the only thing that you are going to need. 10 seconds, All right, we're starting with a commando walkout. So you'll start with your knees bent and you're walking your arms out. So they cross over, so it looks like that. Off we go. So walking, your arms out. When you get to the top, come back. So we're not standing up. It's like a commando roll, I guess. Go out as far as you can and then come back in. You can always do this on your knees. We we'll just go one exercise to the next today. Twenty seconds. So going out as far as you can go before coming back in. Trying to keep hips still. Not everything is weight bearing on our wrists today. You'll be glad to know. Five. Okay, come down onto your belly. Slide your hands in line with your chest, elbows in. We're pulsing up. So elbows are sucked into our sides. Now you've got it, look down. Pelvis is pushed into the floor. Elbows down away from the shoulders. And the more you push down through your hands and the more you squeeze your elbows in, the more you're gonna feel it. It's a really little lift. So we're not coming up high. You shouldn't be feeling it in the lower back is all the backs of the arms. Oh, I'm definitely feeling this one now. 20 seconds. The next one is what you need your book for. Ten. We're doing one arm incline press ups next. Make sure elbows are still in. Three, two, one. Okay. Bring your book out to the side, hand on it. We're super wide doing your press ups. So you could be on your toes in your box position or like I was, just make sure your hands are wider than they normally would be. So my hand not on the surface is on my mat and the other one is about a hand space away from it. Oh, definitely not on my toes today. Core is tight, we are halfway through. If like me, being on your toes today is a struggle, go onto your knees, but try and bring your chest nice and low. Keep it going. So remember, knees could be really close to you. Everybody can do this one. Okay, chest press pulse, so bring those arms together. We're going shoulder to nose, shoulder to nose. We know this one, it is one of my favorites. Really squeeze your elbows, forearms together. If they don't touch, don't worry, just imagine you are squeezing something between them. Okay, now we're going. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Keep this going. This is our halfway mark of the first round. Gives us a chance to get used to the exercises. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you guys know it already, but the analogy of holding something between your elbows, standing over a cliff, and you don't wanna let it go. Keep this going. Three, two, one, pick your book up. You're gonna hold it like this behind you. Bent over position, flat back, and we're pulsing. Now for the added 
extra, you're going to imagine you're pulling the book apart. Or block whatever you've got. Pulse, so it's a really small move. This is definitely one of those that when you start, you don't feel it. And then all of a sudden, you're like, wow. So good figure seven shape. So spit flat back from the crown of the head to the tailbone. And then legs. Straight, but you can, like me, if you've got tight hamstrings, soft bend in the knees. Keep it going. 15 seconds. We're doing toe reaches next. Five. Three, two, one. Pop the book down, coming down. Pushing the bum up, reaching your toes. So you can go as fast or as slow here as you like. If you want an extra challenge, you're going to bring the elbows down as you come up. So a dip before you tap your foot. Make sure elbows are squeezed into the side. If you can't reach your toes, whatever you can reach is fine. It could just be your knee. Bum is pushed up. We've got swinging bridge to L sit next. We have been working on this. It has featured a few times in the 30 day challenge. So you should know what you're doing after you've seen me do one. I will talk it through again. So it's one of our more complicated moves. Okay, we're gonna start in bridge. Swing your bum back, straighten through the legs. So push bum up, swing back, straighten through the legs. So you need to play with your heel position so that you can really get that straight position when you come back. So it might be that you need to walk your feet further away from you or closer to you. Keep it going. We have one more after this and then we have a minute's rest. So you're really squeezing it in today. Fifteen seconds. So we've got a T press to finish. Five. Okay. Move my block out the way. So. We're going to come to pivot on the outside of the feet, reach up, then go to the other side. So you're going through. Now, if you want a little bit more, I'll wait till I come back, you can kick the leg through as you come through. So a little bit more core focused. Controlled though, so I don't want it to be really quick. I was getting the upper body, the added benefit of a bit more core. 20 seconds. I've almost tumbled over there. <laughs> Five. Okay, rest, come down. Grab your drink. <sighs> that was really cramming it in. So eight minutes and we are done. You know all of the moves now. So if you need to, look at me. If not, just have a quick look for the, uh, the demo for the first one and then you should be off. Try and kind of challenge yourself in this last one. So with the press ups, try and get your chest a little bit lower. On the pro pulses, really squeeze in. So just listen to those little like finessing tips so that you get the most out of this next eight moves. 10 seconds. We're doing the commando walkout. Five, three, two, one, we go. So we're walking out. As far as you can go, coming back in, bending the knees as you come in. 
Try and keep your forearms parallel to each other. The added benefit that a lot of these upper body moves are also working the core. Halfway through this one. Keep it going. We're doing those cobra pulses next in 10 seconds. Okay, onto the belly. Hands slide in line with the armpits, elbows are in, look down. We're pulsing up and down, really squeezing the arms in. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Hands are firmly pushing down. Pelvis is pushed down. And make sure you are looking down. So I always say this, but think of the head as an extension of the spine. So nice straight line position from the crown of the head to the tailbone. 20 seconds. Incline press up. We're doing the other side from the one we did last time. 10 seconds. My block is very well positioned for that. <laughs> Five. Okay, so press up position. Remember, hands are nice and wide for this one. If you're with me with your knees down, make sure your bum is pushed down. Chest, let's try and get it nice and low. So we've covered a ton of press-up varieties in this 30-day challenge. Keep it going. This is our last arm-targeted workout. We're nearly there, 20 seconds. Chest press pulse is next. Ten. Okay, bring those arms together. We're going straight for the three, two, one, down. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, it's hard to keep my arms together now. Keep this going. This is our halfway mark. I just needed to have a little change of position. You can stand up, walk around, sit down, whatever you need to do. Halfway, come on. I feel this too, especially around the area of my armpit. Oh. 15 seconds, keep it going. We've got that tricep pulse next. That is move five of eight, five seconds. Okay, grab your item. Remember hands are in this position. We're pulsing back, think about that flat back. And then for the extra move, you're thinking about pulling your hands apart. Keep it going. Back is nice and flat. We're pulsing right at the top. Oh, backs of the arms here. Toe reaches is coming up in 30 seconds. We are getting there now. Stick with it. That is my fire alarm being tested. Excellent timing. Keep it going. 10 seconds. So this is one, 
you could go for two, which is tricep dip, reach. It's an annoying thing about the fire alarm test. There's a sign saying, oh, we test it every Tuesday at 11 a.m. It's never at that time. Keep this going. Just, again, keeping it real. Doing these videos from home. Oh, 30 seconds, come on. Make sure if you are doing that dip, you're really bending the elbows back, squeezing shoulder blades together. We've got swing bridge to outset after this. That is the two minutes to go mark. 10 seconds, keep it going. Okay, so swinging bridge, bridge. Slide back, legs straight, we go. So really take your time with this one. Make sure you're getting the full range of movement. Remember, play with your positioning. When you are doing it, this, this one right, you will most definitely feel it in the backs of your arms. Also shoulders. Added benefit of glutes. We've got 20 seconds with this one. Keep it going. Ten. Okay, T press is our last one. So level one, just raising the arm, coming to the outside of our feet. Or you can add in that kick through. This one is controlled, remember. I didn't demonstrate a very good one to begin with. We need to make sure you're really keeping that same reach out as you would be if you're doing a kick through as without halfway. This is it guys, we are nearly done. We have core tomorrow. Thought we'd give our legs an extended rest. 10 more seconds. You have got this. Do not give in, come on. Five. And rest. Okay, make sure you stretch your upper body out a little bit so you can do the one across the body, the one up and over, chest forward. Make sure your heart rate has come down before you can take a complete rest. But I will see you tomorrow for day 27. As I said, it's the core. And just have a lovely day. Bye-bye.